Now, Coops, often I reckon sometimes attitude and desire is best illustrated by the loose ball on the ground <laughs> scenario. Like, right, who, who's got the desperation, who's got the desire to come up with that ball? Sometimes when there's feet in the way and everything like that. And I, ju I just thought in the first half, just on half time, Appy Coruscant. I, I think that desperation and getting the loose possession typified the Tigers' fight. Yep. And then to get off, off the ground and then set up a try two plays later. Yep. It was, it was pretty special. And it was uh, s sort of significant because it was Coruscant versus Hines. The two best players of both teams, the most influential players on the ground. Ball is on the deck. Coruscant gets it. And Olam scores, makes it 18-6 before halftime. But <clears throat> it's funny you say that because um, Mal used to make us dive on loose balls in the warm-up for Origin captain's runs. He'd throw the ball around. Even if it's wet, he'd be like, dive on it, get dirty, get down. So, yeah, he played a huge part. And I thought... Um, I enjoyed watching the Tigers win. They're, they're yeah. coming from a low base, but they played a Coops. good brand of footy, mm. and I love what Coruscant did. And, and Coop, look, last year when they had that, when they were playing great football in the middle of the season, they played like they did the other night. Yeah. They simplified their attack and they centralised the attack, and they made the focal point of the whole team, Appy Coruscant. Yeah. You know, Appy, you know, he, his efforts through the middle of last year really was one of the things that kickstart Luke Brooks. Yeah. And I, I thought the I just thought the other night I thought it was I don't think you'll ever see Appy play a better game. And I think the number one indicator when the dummy half plays well is I think the front rowers do a good job. Your middle forwards are yep. dominant. I thought Uto Kamano was good, Fano off the bench. Um, and they just added some spark. Um, yeah, Olam for his first game for the Tigers, he was brilliant. You know what I like about Olam oh, is is the fact it's that terrifying. if as a defensive centre, he carries consequence. Yeah. So, as you know, Coop, if you're a playmaker and you're going to the line, there's going to be consequences if you make a bad pass decision yep. to a teammate. You could be really putting you, yep. well, you are putting you, your teammate in harm's way. Yeah, I, I remember sort of having that double look at someone like Steve Maddow at Manly at different mm -hmm. stages because they, they'll get it wrong. But when they get it right, that's right. Geez, it, it hurts and, yeah. it, and it helps. Their you team. make an enemy of a teammate. Yeah, and um, yeah, as a ball player too, if if you feel like you're second guessing yourself, someone like Olam mm. just being super aggressive coming in, and it can actually stifle your attack. So, yeah, I, I thought he was good. Um, he was strong defensively, but he was even better with the ball in hand. Uh, and I like the way Coruscant plays, is he encourages everyone around him to play more direct. Like I thought Jareem Buller, like once the momentum started, he can pop up all over the field, but he was willing to get behind that ruck. Yeah. Aiden Caesar, even early in the game, yeah. you know, Appy got forward and he took the following play and made 20 metres up through the middle. Mm. So I, I, and, and I, I, I thought Aiden Caesar was really good. Yeah. He was really polished, thought he kicked well. Yeah, ballsy decision from Aiden Caesar. So he left the NRL after the 2019, goes overseas. COVID hit, the game changes a lot. Yep. When he left the NRL, he wasn't like an elite halfback game. He was solid. He got Canberra to a grand final. And then he comes back when the games change a lot. He comes back to the team that's got back-to-back -back wooden spoons. Yep. And he gets dropped the first week. Benji Marshall went with Sullivan in front of him, put mm. Caesar on the bench, brings him in for his first game to start. And uh, he did exactly what he was brought to do. He kicked really well. He was the organising half. He just took... Uh, Young Lockie Galvin created space for him. You know, Jareen Bull was sort of in positions that he needed to be and um, he put it all together. Well, and the good thing for Benji is that, that style of football, that, uh, that simplified, centralised football, it's proven it works. Mm -hmm. It proved last year it works. You know, what hurt him last year was uh, Appy got injured and then suddenly Brooks and their season sort of went off the rails straight away again. But there they are, they're playing the other nine and went back to that style of football... That's the formula. Yeah. You know, and that's, that, that's a very important thing for Benji. And, and I, I like seeing the Tigers win. I love seeing this team song. But on the other side of the field, the Sharks were bad, right? Yeah. So what are the Tigers going to do to get off the bottom of the ladder when they play teams that aren't bad? Is that style of football where they go punch for punch and try and play conservative, yep. is that going to be enough to beat the better teams or win a lot of games to get them off the bottom? That's going to be the thing for Benj. And I suppose, Coops, it's how, how good you get at that style of football. Yep. Like, you know, they, they'll look at the video and say, geez, we've still got a way to go here, there and yep. that. But if they can make that, if they can really become effective at that style of football... Then, because because what it did, it, that simplified style of football produced far less uh, errors, yep. 
which put far less pressure on the defence. Yeah, and we marvel at what um, Penrith do, right? Mm. But watch their game without looking at all the cool stuff. They actually do a very simple approach. Mm. They defend well, their completion rate's great, their king game is elite. They do all that thing every week and then they can add the cool stuff on top. For the Tigers, they need to build that foundation for a lot longer for them to then start adding some stuff on top. But I like your point. Coruscant is absolutely the key.